Great news, with the latest update from Google, you can now finally transfer music easily from one Google Home device to another elsewhere in your house. Let's give it a try. Hi, welcome back to another Switched On Network video. I'm Paul FP, and earlier this year in March, I made a video called Top 5 Things Google Home Can't Do. And number one on my list of gripes in that video was the fact that you couldn't transfer music from one Google Home to another elsewhere in your house if you're listening to music and moving around the house. Let's have a listen to what I said in that video. So first off, if you're listening to music on one of your home devices, you can't transfer the music you're listening to to another home device, Chromecast or Group. It would be great if you could say, okay, play this in the living room as well, or okay, I'm moving to the bedroom and have it move the music with you. Well, it's really good to see that Google have been listening to me and no doubt others too, and this feature is now available. And it works like this. Say for instance, I'm sat here in the office doing some work listening to music on my Google Home Mini, and I want to go to the kitchen to make a coffee. So I'll have some music on here. Hey Google, play Amsterdam by Venus de Milo. Okay, Amsterdam by Venus de Milo. Playing on Google Play Music. So that music's now playing in here, and if I want to go to the kitchen and have the music follow me, I just say, hey Google, move the music to the kitchen. Sure, I'll play it on kitchen. And now it's playing down in the kitchen. Yeah, and now the music's playing here in the kitchen, so I'll make my coffee. And now let's say I want to go and sit in the conservatory to drink my coffee, I'll just say, hey Google, move the music to the conservatory. Okay, I'll play it on conservatory. There we are. So it follows you from room to room. At last, just what we've all been wanting. It works with podcasts as well, so for instance if I say, hey Google, stop. And then play a podcast like, hey Google, play the latest episode of Dilemmas with Jess Ellis. All right, here's the latest episode of Dilemmas with Jess Ellis, S2 EP3, a girl and a gay in the gym. Welcome to Dilemmas with Jess Ellis. We've got Hattie and Richie from a gay right, girl. And I can move that back up to the office if I want, like this. Hey Google, move the podcast to the office. Okay, I'll play it on office. And I'll go back upstairs. And here we are, the podcast is now playing up here in the office. Hey Google, stop. It works with groups as well, so for example, if you're sat in one room, maybe having a coffee, and then you want to start, I don't know, tidying the whole house, you could move it to everywhere if you have a group set up like that. So for example, hey Google, play music by Venus de Milo. All right, playing Venus de Milo on Google Play Music. So the music's playing in here, and I'll now move that music to everywhere. Hey Google, Move the music to everywhere. All right, I'll play it on everywhere. And now it's playing throughout the whole house. And there we are. According to the blog post by Google, you can also do the same with YouTube videos playing on a Nest Hub Max to move the video to one of your Chromecast devices. I can't test that out as I've not got a Nest Hub Max, so let me know in the comments if you've got one and if it works for you. I think it's great that Google are listening to feedback and adding these improvements. It's making more and more of my videos obsolete though, but hey, I'm not complaining. As well as this feature, it looks like the upcoming second gen Google Home Mini will sport a headphone jack, just like I suggested in my video early this year. And if that does come to pass, it'll render my planned video showing how to mod your own to add a headphone jack in slightly redundant, but hey, it'll still be a fun project. And also on the Nest Hello smart doorbell front, I complained in this video that they didn't sell an officially certified mains adapter for those that need it. And in the US at least, that's now an option. I'm just waiting for that to launch in the UK so I can benefit, but it does look like Google is listening to feedback and responding accordingly. So thanks Google, it's very much appreciated. So let me know in the comments if this feature has come to your Google Home yet, and let me know too what else you'd like to see in future updates. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you won't miss any of our new videos. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.